Hi guys, have you ever wondered on one or the other why some of you or some of us get to fail the security guard interview questions when even the opportunity is on the table and you're left wondering why the other person is selected and yet I'm better experienced than him or I have more knowledge than him. Welcome to this video. It's Max from the Max Creation. If you've not subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing, support this channel by subscribing. It's the only way you'll be updated or notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at how to pass your security job or security guard interview for the Gulf countries. And what are those first simple security guard questions and their answers? that everyone should pass in case you are called for an interview. It might be a Skype interview. It might be a one-on-one -on -one interview from the recruiter. What are you supposed to do? Before you think of what you're going to say, how are you supposed to present yourself? So therefore, in this video, we are going to look at two parts. One part, we are going to look at how better have you prepared or what should you have before you go for that interview. So how do you prepare yourself before you go for that interview? Then in the second phase, we shall look at what are the some of the simplest security guard questions and their answers for the Gulf. You may be recruited in Qatar, you may be recruited in Oman, you may be recruited in now. Going to Abu Dhabi or going to Dubai. What are these kind of questions that you should have? Even if you've not done security before. Because remember, security in the Gulf countries does not need you to have the gun with you. Does not need you to have an experience of being in an army. No. But also your brain, how you get things and how you present yourself matters in one way or the other. By the way, consider giving this video or giving this video a thumbs up. If you think it's very helpful, it will be the only way I'll be motivated to make more content and to make more videos. If you don't subscribe, consider subscribing. It's a no way. By the way, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Let's go right into the video. First of all, let us try to look at how do you present yourself when you're going for that interview? How do you prepare your mind before you go for that security guard interview? In case you are being called on by your recruiter and it's your day, it is your time. One. First of all, you have to dress appropriately and smart. It is always very important. That is the first impression that the person interviewed should have. How you smart, how you address is very, very important. And how you're going to present yourself. It is actually that something that most people consider interviewer. How you present, how you address. Remember? Then, stool. Treat the interviewer with respect and greetings. Most of us at the times, when you're called in for the interview, you just enter someone's office, which is not right. It's better knock three times. One, two, three. Hello, may I come in? Then the interviewer, if he's inside the office, he will say, can you please come in? You wait for you wait for the permission. You wait for him or her to grant you permission. That is what we call, you treat the interviewer with respect and greetings. No matter how size, how big, how he looks like, because at that time, you are looking at that way where you'll be selected among the other people. Then two, you should be able to demonstrate the skills and qualities of a security guard. What skills and qualities we are talking about? One, ability to remain calm is one of them. Ability to remain calm under pressure. There are some questions that may be asked in one way or the other. They are trying to be a little bit productive, productive in one way or the other. They are trying to make your brain think a lot. And, you know, some of us, we do not want to think a lot right now when we are being asked a lot of questions. But stay calm under that pressure. And even the interviewer himself wants to understand what kind of personality is dealing with or what kind of personality that will be dealing with the clients or will be dealing with the, uh, people's property or dealing with people in case there is an emergency. 
So you need to demonstrate that kind of calmness and that calmness to remain uh, very calm uh, to be, especially to hold pressure at a given time. Then also we have what we call effective communication skills is very important when you're going for a job interview. Don't speak like as if you're speaking to your wife or you're as if you're speaking to your, your, your family members. You need to be loud enough. You need to be audible enough. This person needs to understand the nature of the person. Can you give command? In case of anything, in case of an emergency, let's say for example the evacuation emergency comes, can you try to give, to give command for people to move out, to move to the assembly point? which is very important. So your audibility, the communication skill is very important. So as you prepare to go for those interviews, make sure you try to take a little bit of practices. Let's say, for example, in front of a friend, do it, do it, such that you can pull out your audibility and your communication skill, which is quite very important. Also, another one is able to follow what you call rules and procedures to absorb a large amount of job and specific information. Most of the interviewers will always look for that kind of skill where you are able to follow what you call the rules and procedures, especially if you go to those locations or wherever you go to, anyone that may be giving you the, the, the rules, you are able to follow and you are able to absorb what you call a given amount of information interpret it well and follow the information which most of the interviewers will be looking for then also another one the last one is uh, an understanding of the laws that are applicable to the role of the security guy most of us we underestimate this but it's quite very important what are the laws that guide you as a security guy it's quite very important most of the time, most of us, we come to these Gulf countries or most of you go come to these Gulf countries as security guards. But most of people are like, it doesn't concern me for you to know what kind of labor laws in that country concerning to security guards or concerning to your workers. You might not know, there might be an article that closes you somewhere, but you are not aware. Remember, when we are given these visas to come to this country, or when you're given this visa as a sponsorship for work sponsorship, it is a privilege. But remember, there is a privilege and responsibility. And your responsibility as a person is to follow the law. It is to know some of the rules that govern your job description in that country, which is quite very important to note. So let us try to look at what are the, some of the basic security questions, interview questions and their answers. And in case you are being asked, what should you say? What are you supposed to do? What are you going to do? Or how do you have to give back? We are going to look at the simplest explanation that everyone can understand. That even if someone is coming from another continent, he can really try to give this one to the interviewer. Try to impress that interviewer. The person is going to give you the, the person interviewing you is going to give you the job. Let him know that you are ready to do the job. One, they may ask you, describe yourself. Oh, tell us a little about yourself. Describe yourself. It may be in a few words. What are you going to say? This is exactly what you are going to say. The simplest way you can say, I would like to thank you for giving me an opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. My name is Max. I'm 20 years old. I have a small family. There are five members in my family. I'm married. I have uh, an A-level certificate of education in my country. I have worked as a security guard in my country for the last six years. Very simple. It is completely done. You can express yourself. That is question. That is uh, that is uh, question number one. Interview question number one. Then number two. Who is a security guard? This is a question that nobody asks. It may look a little bit very simple. 
but it is very tricky. Who is a security guard? Remember? A security guard. The answer will the simplest answer will be a security guard is a person who protects one people's lives, two property, three he protects property, three he protects property and what you call information. That is what we call a security guard. You protect people's lives, you protect property and also information. You need to be a little bit observant with the information that you share out. That is what we call a security guard. Question number three that is normally asked and very simple to anyone that can answer or to anyone that can answer is what is fire? Remember, fire is a chemical reaction in which energy in form of heat is produced. Very simple. Take it that one very simple. You've given that answer. You've just given that answer, which is going to satisfy that person interview. Because he will not need long, long answers. He wants to, ha to, to have a kind of ability to understand. Do you have a clue of what you say? Do you know something which is very important? We look at question number four. What is an emergency assembly point? Remember, the question was, what is fire? The next question this person is asking you, tricking you, what is an emergency assembly point? Remember, an emergency assembly point is a location designated as a place for a group to meet, for people to gather in case of an emergency. That is what we call an emergency assembly point. In case of anything that is in the building, there is an emergency. There is always that point where people should gather. And that is called what is called an assembly point. It's a very simple question, a very simple answer that you can give. And the impression will come like, yes, this guy should be given the visa. Then we say, another question is, what is a fire extinguisher? By the way, what is a fire extinguisher? It may look normal, but you need to know this. You need to understand. You need to give the answer. What is a fire extinguisher? Because it's being asked. Remember, a fire extinguisher is a portable device that discharges a jet of water, foam, gas, or other materials to extinguish fire. That is what we call a fire extinguisher. Very simple explanation, very simple answer. And the last question is mention four classes of fire extinguisher that you know. Mention four classes of fire extinguisher. You know. That also looks a simple question, but with simple answers. They say mention one. We shall mention them. Class A, class B, class C. Class D. So that is exactly what it should be said. Very simple questions, uh, interview answer, and very simple answer. Hope I've tried to share up with you. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell icon. It will be the only way I'll be motivated when I upload a new video. Remember, it's mix from the mix.